Hello everybody. Today I'm going to step backwards a little bit and slow up a little bit on creating a dam for people that are just beginning uh, grading in their uh, career. As you can see, what the engineer has decided he needs to have is a dam with a buttress dam on the downstream side. Here's the general dimensions. He wants the crest to be 10 foot wide. 15 foot downstream at a 3 to 1 slope. He wants another a buttress dam attached to that. <clears throat> and he wants the elevation of that dam to be 800 and the buttress dam 795 at the crest. Let's go, let's look at 3 to 1 slopes. When I say 3 to 1 slopes, in civil engineering, that literally means 3 foot horizontal in grade and 1 foot vertical drop three to one and they'll you know you, you'll hear it all kinds of incre increments five to one six to one seven to one whatever but in this case i'm going to go out three feet and down one foot so that's the easy that's the math that you use for when they say three to one so let's get started <clears throat> i have created a polyline which is easy enough it's just a polyline but i have assigned an elevation of 800 to it as you can see this right here I could assign elevation any elevation I wish. I've already assigned it 800. Going to leave it. That's that is the elevation he wants this dam to be. Okay. Now next we will use just go straight into the layout of this dam from these dimensions. I will use the underneath the grading command underneath geometry. I will use what's called a stepped offset command. I use it constantly. Down below it says the distance I wish to offset it. If I if this will be the center of the large dam, the top the tall one, I will say five feet. And it'll ask me which side to offset it to. I'll say this side. And now it'll say um, do I want to drop an in an elevation? I do not. I'm going to leave it at zero. Now I'm going to pick this line again. I'm going to offset to this side. I'm going to say zero. At this point, all three lines should be at elevation 800. You can check those. Yes, they're coming in at 800. That's this now will represent the center line, or the, not the center, but the crest of this dam. You're looking at this portion of this dam I just created. <clears throat> the next one, interestingly now, he needs a five foot lower at 15 feet out. Okay, let's go back to the grading command, go back to geometry, stepped offset. All I'm using is this, this one polyline that we started with. Now this one, we're going to go out 15 feet in the downstream side, and now I'm going to drop 5 feet. So you want to go negative 5, and now that represents this point right here. Okay, now we're going to use the stepped offset again. And it's going to be a 10 foot wide dam. And I'm going to have it zero. Can we double check this? It should be elevation 795. It's all coming in, as you can see, at elevation 795. Perfect, spot on. I'm almost done. <clears throat> You've almost, you have almost already created the dam. Let's go ahead and finish it off. I need three to one slopes going down both sides. Let's go back to stepped offset. Let's let's keep it simple math when we're doing this. Now you just want you want to uh, step down far enough that it will catch the toe of the that the face of the whole dam down here. So we're going to step down, say 30. Let's go out 30 feet. And step down 10. Let's do this a few more times. And it holds the default, you can see. Now let's do the same over here. And let's do it once more. Okay. Now let's drop this out. 
Let's drop in my tool space. I've created a, an empty surface called Dam Alternate 2. I have nothing in the definition. I'm going to add only break lines. These do not represent contours. These are single lines representing elevations. So I will leave the defaults pretty much where they are. If it's at 1, I make a 0.1 or 0 0.001 or whatever on this. Um, I am just going to simply pick these few lines and I haven't created like hardly half a dozen lines here but let's go ahead and pick all of them I mean, you can always say select similar if you wish but I've got just a few here and let's hit enter <clears throat> and now I have my auto build onto this well, I, I will now. I'm going to say rebuild automatic in this case. And that's just simply clicking on that. You can see it's created contours, down, uh, uh, constant contours all the way across in between all of these. This represents what will be the dam. Let's go ahead now and uh, do a minimum distance between two surfaces. Okay, that is... I believe it's on the analysis tab. I just type it in until I find minimum distance between two surfaces. It's easy enough. And now it wants to know between what two surfaces. I'm going to pick the existing topo and I'm going to pick dam alternate 2. And you'll see this this blue line pop in here. Oops. Yes, yes, and I accept those defaults, and it this now represents the intersect of where the dam will actually intersect with the existing grade. That's the zero elevation, I call it, the, the daylight intersect between proposed and existing. That's all that line represents. I'm almost done. Let's finish it. Now, on dam alternate 2, I had added all these polylines. Let's just add a boundary to this, and I'm going to use that boundary that I just created. It's right click on everything. Right click. Okay, I'll leave this alone. I'm going to pick that line. And now we're going to lift it up. And let's see what we've got. there is a section through that. I know the 3D viewer is interesting, but anyway, let's let's be brave. Let's do one more thing. Let's look now over here. <clears throat> over in my profile, I had already created one with a larger one, which is this bigger one up here. The one I just created is this line, and this is in my profile. And that's the dam alternate two with that, with that little uh, buttress dam stuck in there. And people, that is all there is to it. I hope you get something out of this video, and I will catch you next time.